I'm going to show you a derivation for the area of a circle that you've not seen before, and it's going to be without integration. So here we have a circle of radius r. We want to show that the area is pi r squared. So how are we going to approach this? What we're going to do is we're going to take a triangle subtending an angle of theta radian. So let me just draw this triangle here and sort of put theta here. Okay, now as the theta goes to zero, okay, as that angle goes to zero, this triangle is going to get closer and closer to this sector of the circle. So if we try to find the area of a circle, if we think about polygonal approximation, for example, if you draw a really, really, really fine polygon, okay, I'm just going to sort of draw it like this, you can get the idea, this is going to approach a circle as the edges of the polygon get smaller and smaller in side length. So in particular, as theta approaches zero, if we find the area of this triangle, how many of those triangles are going to fit into the circle? Well, the entire circle has two pi radians, and so we're going to get two pi over theta times the area of this triangle. Well, what's the area of the triangle going to be? So remember, the circle is radius r, so the side lengths, by definition of trig functions, is going to be r cosine theta, and this side length is going to be r sine theta. So in particular, the area of a triangle is half times base times height. We're going to get half times r cos theta times r sine theta. Okay, that is going to be the area of the triangle in brackets. And then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by 2 pi over theta because that's how many triangles are going to cover the whole circle. If you like, the circle is symmetrical. So if we just take this fraction, this sector of the circle and find its area, and then multiply that by 2 pi over theta, we'd get the whole area of the circle. But this represents a quantity that as theta gets smaller and smaller and approaches zero, so just like in that picture, your triangles get thinner and thinner, it's going to approach the area of the circle. So we need to find the limit of this expression in calculus, which is what do these numbers approach as theta approaches zero? And this is going to be so beautiful. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna simplify this. So first of all, we can multiply the two r's there, and we're going to get pi r squared, the twos cancel, pi r squared cosine theta times sine theta over theta. Okay, so I'm writing this in a specific way. I'm collecting the terms, and we want to understand what does this approach as theta approaches zero. Now, this is where it gets beautiful. We're interested in limit theta goes to zero. Okay, so this is in limits. Limit theta goes to zero of pi r squared times cosine theta times sine theta over theta. And now the interesting thing here is that as theta approaches zero, cosine theta approaches one. Because if you think about cosine theta, what it's going to be, well, it's going to be the side length of the base of this, of this triangle. So as theta approaches zero, it's going to exactly approach r. Cosine theta is going to exactly approach r. Or if you know cosine zero is one, there's nothing to that. So this is approaching one. And then what does this quantity approach, sine theta over theta? Now that is subtle. A lot of people think, well, sine theta is basically theta as theta approaches zero. So that also approaches one. It is correct, but the reasoning has to be super rigorous. Now, given that that approaches one, then you get that the limit is going to be pi r squared, and that is going to be the area of the circle. So it's all done without integration. But we need to know why this limit of theta approaches zero of sine theta over theta is one. And there are proofs of that using areas. But that would be circular reasoning because we're deriving the area using that. So we need a much more elementary accessible proof. And I have a proof using the parameter of a circle, which is straight from the definition. You know, the formula for the parameter is just two pi r, right? And that's because pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. So that doesn't need proving like the area. And I've done a video proving that limit. Check it out, it's gonna appear on the screen right now. I'll see you in that video, it's a beautiful proof. It's a very popular video on my channel and I'm gonna see you there. And that will complete the trifecta or the bifecta, I don't know what the right word is, for why the area of a circle is pi r squared from elementary principles.